Oh, hi. If you're here to talk about science, you're in the right place. Today we're going to talk about, well, simply put, bubbles. And why am I in my garage, you might ask? Well, the greatest minds of all time started in their garages. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Johnny Appleseed, even Albert Einstein all started in their garage. Now to teach you the concept of these dry ice bubbles, I could recite the periodic stable of elements, I could say them upside downs and backwards, I could do that if I wanted to, but if you really want to learn science, I'm just going to have to show you. So for today's experiment, let me break down what we're going to be using. It's going to be water, which is two particles of oxygen and one particle of hydrogen, dish soap with water, which again, two particles of hydrogen, one particle of oxygen, and dry ice, Ow. which you definitely, you do not want to touch with your bare hands. We're going to be using gloves for that. Dry ice is a very exciting product. If you break it down to the bare minimum of the ions inside of it, it's basically only hydrogen, oxide, nitrous, and phosphorus. So if you break those down, freeze them to negative 500 degrees, you have dry ice. And if you're doing this experiment at home, you're gonna to wanna to use warm to hot water, not cold water. The warm water actually negatively charges the ions inside of it and reverses it, which makes double the smoke power. So it's a pretty amazing effect when you use warm water as opposed to cold water. All right, let's get started. Okay, who's ready for some science? So basically, you're gonna take the dry ice. Okay, and remember what I said, we're actually gonna use gloves to handle the dry ice. You're gonna watch it instantly reacts and changes the ions to a negative charge when it hits the water. Okay. Yeah, you see that reaction? <coughs> it's actually really healthy <coughs> to breathe it in. My lungs just aren't used to it. Okay, we're gonna get started. Okay, it's like a little nervous, a lot of smoke. Okay, so we're gonna make some bubbles. And the dry ice, if you'll watch closely, when it enters the bubble solution, it's actually gonna change it to a positive charge and that's what, why it's able to form the bubble. So let's go ahead and try it. It's a pretty amazing thing. Your hand is actually not able to hold it because of the negative charge of your hand. But I've got some gloves here. Okay, I've got some gloves here. They have a negative charge, which is the same as the bubbles. And with those particles of hydrogen and particles of oxygen, it's gonna positively charge, land on the gloves, and I'll be able to hold the bubbles. Pretty amazing, right? You wanna be the hit at your next kid's birthday party? Show them this video. And I should, if you look close, I should actually be able to eat the solution because my tongue has the negative charge. Let's see if I can do it. <coughs> see? It probably would have worked on a different day, but not today. You can actually see inside the positive, honey, shh, the positive neutrons reacting with What are you doing? What? Are, whoa! What are you doing? This is cool. This is my science channel. Wait, you know, you know science? Yes. I'll be in in a minute. I had no idea. This is dangerous. Let me see. Wait. No, I this is. See it. No, it's okay. You don't even what have goggles. You, you don't even have goggles on. You know what? I'm not gonna let you be out Wait, here. Wait. How? When did you learn science? I know science. Safety first. And if you're trying this at home, if you're trying it in the laboratory, always. Okay. Safety first. And I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about how this works, and I would love to answer them in the comments below, or even what kind of videos you want to see me do next. And just basically any science questions that you guys have, ask me in the comments below, and I guarantee I have an answer for them. All right, that's it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you learned a lot. If you didn't learn anything, you probably weren't listening. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Comment below what you want to see me do next. We'll see you next time. Safety shoes? What? Yes, they're safe. <laughs>